Hey everybody, it's Rob here bringing you a new video of a new snapshot method that just has been discovered here with the new Juggernaut Ancestral uh, FX, or let's say uh, the new uh, Codex of Power Power here, the defensive one. So if you guys remember uh, the snapshots with the elements and various other effects, um, you can also use the Juggernaut aspect to actually snapshot your armor. And um, I'm just going to show this to you here real simple. So I have a Juggernaut on my chest and I have an amulet like this with a pretty good roll of Juggernaut. So I can just go out of the run. And I'm firstly going to not do the snapshot. So I just go in normally into the run. This will basically allow you to have max armor without putting any points in armor. So this is my normal armor, right? I didn't do anything. I just have my armor here. This is my normal armor cap. But what I can then do is equip the Juggernaut. And you would think my armor would change now, right? Because I'm going from 5k to 8k armor. This is actually how I found out about this again. <laughs> so my armor doesn't change like this, even though now this one is inactive and this one is active. This is a negative snapshot. But what you can do is go out again. You don't even have to go out, but this is the easiest way to do it and the uh, easiest to explain. So you go in. And then notice I go from 14k to 18k armor. And now I simply take my original amulet back and I have the high armor snapshot. I can just play the game normally now. And I have the high armor snapshot of the uh, basically up to almost 9000 armor you can get uh, for free. And um, now I have the snapshot and I can just like play the game normally and even though I don't have the Juggernaut aspect on the amulet anymore, I still have all the armor. And what this allows you to basically completely ignore all the armor rolls. You don't need any armor in your Paragon, you don't need any armor percentage because the armor cap is 13,300 armor, which you will need in Nightmare Dungeon 100. It used to be higher in Avatar of Zir because the monster level was higher, but now you don't even need this high armor anymore. So if you can see here, I still have 20% armor, like I, but if you, I could have a chest like this and basically still be armor capped. And also item power doesn't matter anymore because your armor is just going to be capped. Let's say uh, we have this uh, 18,000 armor and we just divide it by what we have like 1.21 or something. So we are still rocking 14,800 armor without the armor roll. So you can probably just get away with like uh, another defensive roll on the chest or anything like you don't need armor percent on your chest you don't need armor percent on your pants you don't need it on your helm uh, you can basically get rid of all the armor nodes in your paragon that you can get rid of like you don't need them at all because only having a juggernaut snapshot is already enough uh, and that's pretty crazy because you can basically uh, remove all the defense um, we recently learned that the leaderboard is delayed and maybe a lot of these like snapshot shenanigans is the reason um, they basically want to polish, you know, the leaderboards uh, a bit further. And I'm hoping that this is something they will address here. There's a tweet uh, from Ward Ferguson where they will uh, delay the leaderboards. And they will take more time to polish a few things up. I hope snapshotting is one of them. Snapshotting is annoying. And even though the community and lots of people, including me, have been doing it, this is a necessary thing if you want to compete in the leaderboards um, so I just hope that this mechanic is changed because it feels more of a chore, like going in, going out, and and it's also just pretty counterintuitive. Like you have this chest equipped, and then you would think you get this affix, and it actually boosts, it should boost your armor, right? Like, oh, strong affix, 8,000 over 5,000. I take it, but it doesn't even do anything. And then to fix it, you must unequip this armor and then equip the armor again. Uh, sorry, unequip both of the things. And then first equip the amulet and then equip the armor and then take off the amulet right to keep that 18,000 armor in contrast to just having the armor and not having the amulet <laughs> so uh, yeah it is uh, very misleading for for players I think as well like boom this is how you can set it as well but the easiest is just go out equip the amulet and the armor and then go in and you have this armor forever and you will not lose it until you die or until you go into the next rift right so this this is why it more feels like a chore um, i've also heard many reports that people are also snapshotting their all res i have not tried this yet it's going to be a bit tedious to test but basically the idea is like you get a lot of all res and then you switch it out and you still have it snapshotted for the run i haven't tried this because it's going to be very tedious to test but 
there is a lot of crazy and weird things going on with the game. We've also recently learned that um, a lot of passives are not multiplicative again. I think the Wild Impulse one on Druid and the, a couple other things uh, that I've seen uh, Broiler and uh, Vudijo talk about. So uh, there's definitely more things where tooltips are also misleading. And yeah, the, the tooltips in general are a problem. Like it says here you have 62 fire rest, but do you actually have 62 fire rest or does it snapshot if I take off my boots and stuff like that? Does it like load at the, uh, the, the, at the entrance and stuff? And uh, yeah, there's just a lot of question marks and other aspects that snapshots that we know about is the elements. Here, I have the elements here. That one you can snapshot the same way, like a juggernaut. We have the accelerating that can snapshot. Uh, I know about Druid. We have on Druid, we have retaliation that snapshots and you can basically get free damage multipliers. We have uh, the vigorous aspect that snapshots and obviously the elements as well. There's just a lot of things um, that can snapshot and like we are usually snapshotting or berserking. Um, and you can also see this here very easily. I already uh, talked about this in the previous video. Uh, you can see I didn't do any snapshots, so focus on this attack power. I have 44,000 attack power. Um, now I'm going to do a snapshot with 40, just remember 44,000. Now I'm going to do a snapshot with my Berserking and my Blood Rage. So I just equip a bunch of Berserking. And we are snapshotting this effect here, Blood Rage. Now we're just going in. And then I'm switching it back. And you see, we had 44,000. Now we have 48,000. Effectively increasing our damage by 10% by just switching around the two items at the start. And now we can just play like this. Like, obviously, right now I'm having uh, this one here whenever we stand still. But yeah, <laughs> 48,000. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, pretty insane. And uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, unintuitive uh, things that are happening here with the snapshots. Um, I also heard that some people managed to get their pet to snapshot various effects. I haven't like, I haven't been able to replicate this, but I've seen uh, some people talk about that they are snapshotting, for example, the multi-shot support on their pet. I don't really know how that works. Um, I'll, I'll continue to investigate. If you have any information, feel free to let me know in the comments, because I just really hope that all these snapshots are going to be gone for leaderboards. Or, I mean, they don't even have to address the snapshots directly. I think it would be fine if they just lock all of our gear, like I can't switch my items, I can't switch my skills, and I can't switch my paragons in the gauntlet. That would be cool, just the way we had it in Diablo 3, uh, because, uh, yeah, just switching paragon nodes in the run, or switching your skills in the run, depending if you're fighting a single target, or if you're, or if you're fighting an AoE, um, it's, just a, it's just a huge problem as well. So I, I hope that can be addressed. We also figured out that the adrenaline now, after we've been watching this for a long time, you see the buff here on my uh, on my gloves, on my bracers? This is basically the adrenaline one. And I actually wanted to try this. You can see the adrenaline can also be snapshotted. I think it's only going to be up for 12 seconds. But you see, I have the damage buff, even though I don't even have adrenaline. So this one works for sure. You can snapshot that. It's going to be very try hard, right? But um, in theory, the adrenaline, he will, it buffs me, can be snapshotted as well. And now I can just take, I don't know, impale. And now my pet will impale the target. There you go, impale, and I still have the adrenaline buff. And then once it's over, obviously it's very try hard, you switch it back in, and boom, it's gonna buff me again. And now, I don't know, we're gonna do Tempest. And now my pet's gonna blast Tempest. I mean, it's only a 12 second uh, thing, but it also snapshots the buff. So it snapshots a 50% damage buff. And you can just use whatever you want uh, in those uh, in those 12 seconds. It's up, and it's also very easy. Like you can't escape the buff. Like if you're running away, like the pet is like very keen on casting it on you. you. Just watch the just watch the buff here when it goes when it goes away. See, boom! The pet instantly casts it. And even if we wait a bit and we try to run away from it, the pet is pretty smart that way. Like it always buffs you. And yeah, this is just another snapshot you can do. And I haven't tried if it might even snapshot at the start of the uh, start of the area. You see, boom, even from range, he casted it on us, making our hands, our fists glow, so we can smash even harder, yes? And we can try to get away from it, but it's, uh, it's even casting it from afar. Now when this 12 seconds will end. We can't escape it, basically. Yeah, I think it just buffed me again. 
<laughs> it's only supposed to last for 12 seconds and the pet just like instantly casts it on you. And yeah, if you have this combination of Adrenaline, Tactical, Duration and Genesis, you are essentially getting a 1.5 multiplier, which is super insane because 12 second cooldown, 12 second uptime, also snapshotable. But yeah, I think the biggest thing is, okay, you see we have a 12k armor because we didn't do the armor snapshot. Uh, but we can fix that real quick. Just unequip everything. Equip the amulet first, then equip the chest. And then simply change the amulet. Boom. Same setup, 18,000 armor for the entire run. For the entire leaderboard run, let's say. For the entire gauntlet. And that allows you to completely ignore all armor rolls. You can go full DPS everywhere. You just need one aspect that you snapshot to have uh, armor cap every time for free. So yeah. There is some issues and I hope we're going to see a fix. I just wanted to make this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the snapshots and about all the shenanigans that are going on. I'm still looking forward for the gauntlet, even though it's delayed. I still hope we're going to see it like here somewhere in February, uh, maybe on the 20th or the 27th. But yeah, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, my friends. Hope you learned something. GG. Hey guys, a quick little addition here. The Ghost Walker aspect can also be snapshotted and this might be a very good one for the upcoming gauntlet because it seems to be all about speed because it only seems to be Nightmare Dungeon 70 difficulty. So what happens here is the same principle as of the Juggernaut. You equip it on your amulet and then you unequip it and you leave it on your boots. And you can see, whenever I get unstoppable, I should only get 25 movement speed. But I will get 38 here, putting me to... 175 instead of um, what should I be getting 25 163 but this is the same principle if I um, if I unequip it and then equip it again it's gonna be 163 movement speeds but if I equip the amulet first then equip them then remove the amulet at the start of the run it's going to be 175, it's going to snapshot the 38% effect permanently through the entire time. And this probably allows many classes to uh, obtain maximum, maximum movement speed without uh, wasting the amulet slot for, for movement speed uh, effects. So, yeah, that's pretty insane. 200 movement speed, easy peasy. Um, probably pretty good for the gauntlet, if not fixed. I also made this sheet here that I'm going to link in the description that basically has all the known aspects that can be snapshotted and uh, just a quick little overview of how people use this into the Avatar of Zia leaderboards and uh, they will lose it again, they will use it again for the Gauntlet leaderboards if it's not fixed. So I'm still hoping for a fix for this, um, but we'll see. Take care my friends, GG. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.